Hi, I'm Chris McKenzie here at JTEC with the Diesel Technology Program. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about rear ends, uh, about what they do and what the parts are. So let's get started. We have a rear end laid out here for us. And as you can see, the back cover is already off. And so pretty much the way this works is your drive shaft is connected to the yoke down here. And as your yoke spins, it spins your pinion on the inside that gear down there. And so as that pinion gear is spinning, it's attached to your ring gear and it transfers the torque 90 degrees to your wheels. So as it's spinning, it's going to be spinning your axles giving power to your wheels. And as you can see right here, these are your spider gears and your side gears going to your axles. And the purpose behind this assembly is as your vehicle is going around a turn, it allows one wheel to spin slower, one wheel to spin faster, so you don't put excess pressure and you don't drag one of your wheels. And so as this is spinning, it's riding on your uh, roller bearings right here, which supports the weight of uh, your rear end on your axle. And so as your uh, ring gear is turning, uh, it turns the entire housing like I said, transferring power to your wheels. All right, so here we are. Uh, we're gonna be talking a little bit about the lubrication oil in your rear differential on your vehicle. And what your lubrication oil does is exactly that. It's a gear oil and it lubricates your gears to prevent too much friction from building up heat and causing your gears to catastrophically fail. Alright, so some of the components of your rear end, uh, you've got your breather tube. And the purpose of your breather tube is as your oil heats up, it's going to expand. And as it expands, it's going to create pressure pushing air on the housing. And so as that pressure uh, builds up, it's going to be coming out your breather tube. So one of the most important things is always making sure your breather tube isn't clogged, allowing for that excess pressure to be vented out. Because if you build up too much pressure, you're going to blow your uh, seals and you're going to have to pay out more in the long run versus just simply spending a little bit of time cleaning your tube. Uh, another uh, important component features, you have your fill plug and your drain plug. When you're draining your oil out of your differential, you only open your drain plug and you do not open your fill plug. And the purpose behind this is as it's draining out, if you open your fill plug, it's going to create a vacuum. And when you create a vacuum, it's going to be sucking in the outside air and it's going to pull in dirt and dust and contaminants. And it's going to get in there and it's going to get on your gears and it could cause your gears to mess up. I could throw off your mesh. And having a good mesh that's not contaminated is pretty vital to this. Uh, and then once you get through draining it, you just simply put your drain plug back in and you open your fill plug. And after you add your oil, you don't want to fill this flat full because then you're going to overfill it and overpressurize it. So what you do when you fill it, uh, you want to fill it just below the hole and you stick your finger in the fill plug and you want to be able to just barely fill the oil on your finger pad. Uh, and once it's right there where you can fill it, that's how you know it's full, and then you tighten that back down. 